Let's turn our focus now over to some of the frontier markets. Now, our next guest runs a private equity firm that invests in, amongst other things, Cambodian companies. The advantage, of course, of investing like this is that many opportunities do remain largely undiscovered. The pitfalls, though, tend to be underdeveloped legal and infrastructure uh, and also on the capital markets as well. Douglas Clayton is managing partner from Leopard Cambodia. Doug, it's great to have you back with us. Thank you so much for uh, joining us once again. How are things going for you? I know that you're focused on a number of these frontier markets. Cambodia is one of them. And uh, obviously you're coming from the PE side, but we've, uh, there's been some difficulty in the launch of the stock exchange over in Cambodia. I guess just a, an example of uh, how things are taking their time over there. Well, I think the exciting thing is that the neighboring country Laos just launched their stock exchange five weeks ago, mm. and the index promptly doubled. Um, this sets a good precedent for Cambodia, and I think Cambodia will get its exchange open by the second half of this year. Do you think it will be? Because I, I, I notice that there are a number of reports which seem to suggest on one hand that it should open by the second half of the year and on another hand that there could be you know, further delays, certainly to the secondary open. They recently awarded 15 brokerage and underwriting licenses and a few weeks ago I was given a tour of two new securities trading rooms that these are winners of the licenses. They've already fitted out their trading rooms with electronic screens. So it seems like it's really happening. Okay, let's talk about investment then in Cambodia. Um, what sort of investments are you currently holding in the country? Well, we have a stake in the country's largest bank, Akleda Bank, which we think is a candidate for, to have an IPO in the next year or two. Um, Akleda had, had earnings growth of 160% last year to a record 26 million US dollars, and this year it's doing even better. So this is uh, one of the best companies in Cambodia. They also have expanded into Laos, and uh, it might be a future stock for investors to buy. So you would be, uh, you're holding on to this obviously uh, and you will be exiting uh, or will you be exiting I guess you know when the stock IPOs or will you still be still retaining ownership? We'd like to hold it for a medium term uh, maybe up to five years but I think it'll perform very well in the market. Another stock that we okay. hold is EDL Genco which is one of the Laos uh, IPOs. Uh, it's the largest hydroelectric company in Laos and it's now listed uh, and this company's done very well and it has a good future. So that company, that particular company is now listed in Laos, is that correct? Yes. Because from what I understand, there aren't very many, uh, there aren't very many companies that are currently listed on that stock exchange. It is obviously, as you mentioned, a very new stock exchange. Yes, there's only two listed companies, EDL Genco and a, a bank called BCEL. Uh, these are two former state enterprises. Collectively, the, the market has a market cap of um, $1 billion dollars. And it's trading about $600,000 a day, so there is some liquidity there. You would imagine that it would be fairly ex difficult to exit some of these uh, uh, trades. So, I mean, I guess uh, for you, you're exiting uh, one particular company that you just mentioned to us via an IPO, or you could be exiting if you, if you chose to at the time. Uh, certainly with the others, if there's only two companies listed in, in, in Laos, I mean, how does the, uh, the, the, I guess, the average international investor actually uh, get into these two markets if they are interested in tracking frontier markets? Um, there'll be five new IPOs expected in Laos over the coming year. Um, there's two international brokerages that have affiliates there, one from Thailand, one from Vietnam. So it is possible to invest there, but investors who are interested should probably make a visit there and check it out yourself. <laughs> Might be a wise idea. I've heard it's beautiful over there. Uh, Doug, great to have you with us. Thank you so much for joining us. So once again, Douglas Clayton from Leopard, Cambodia.